Are you getting enough sleep? Pretty good, about seven hours a night. Good and bad. I go to bed really late. I always have my phone. New research suggests if you want to live longer, get some shut-eye. An American sleep study followed more than 170,000 adults for over four years. Based on self-reported data, preliminary results show good sleep habits can lower your risk of heart disease and increase your life expectancy. For men, adding nearly five years. For women, almost two and a half. Everything gets reset uh, when people get a good quality of sleep. Researchers suggest there are five sleep characteristics associated with adults who lived longer. They slept seven to eight hours a night, had no difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep more than twice a week, use no sleep medications, and wake up feeling rested at least five days a week. If people don't sleep well, it's kind of an amplifier for whatever they have. So if you have a pain problem and you don't sleep well, you have more pain. If you're depressed, you have more uh, depression. If you have anxiety, it'll make anxiety worse. Statistics show one in three Canadians are not getting enough sleep. How you get there is with good sleep habits. Cherries are a natural source of melatonin. And many are ending up online looking for tips. A recent study found popular sleep videos averaged over 8 million views, but nearly 70% of them contained misinformation or promoted a product or service. Content made by sleep experts can help, but fewer people are watching those videos. I've seen things that are absurd, but, but uh, you know, I, I think uh, you, you just need to have common sense and, uh, you know, ignore that kind of material and, you know, go to a trusted source. Which may be your doctor. Otherwise, experts say, shut off your phone and go to bed at the same time most nights. It can do wonders for your health. Christine Burak, CBC News, Toronto.